Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform Cochrane's Q-Test in SPSS using the legacy dialogs. Um, I'll be using as an example this file I got which shows, for, uh, among other things, which movies people visited in uh, Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, uh, either the Munt, the movies, Tushinsky or Arena. And it was coded 010 for not visited and 1 for visited, as you can see by pressing the value labels. So go for analyze then non-parametric test and although in a other video I'll show you how you can use related samples you can also use legacy dialogs and then choose for k related samples then select the variables of interest they do need to be binary so um, 0 1 coded and uncheck Friedman and make sure you check the Cochrane's Q then click on statistics and you might want to add the descriptives click on continue click on ok and you should get your output as you can see uh, there were 150 people in total uh, because I used one for visited that means 54% um, actually visited the moon 30% uh, the movies etc now you can also see the numbers here in itself and Finally, here at the bottom we have all the information for the Cochrane's Q test, um, the Cochrane's Q test value, its degrees of freedoms, and eventually the asymptotic significance, which is 0 0.000. If you double click on this and then double click again on the number, you can actually see more uh, decimals if you really were interested in those. Zero is treated as a success, uh, so that means actually not visited, but it wouldn't matter if I would use one as a success, um, the results would be actually the same, um, because they do each time add up to 150. Now this means that these values are actually not uh, equal, so that indeed uh, some people, or uh, people visited some of these movies more frequently than others. To figure out which ones, you need to do pairwise comparisons, that's known as a post-op test. Um, if you would use the uh, analyze non-parametric test related samples, you get that one straight away. And with this one, you might want to do a McNemer's post-op test, um, because the Dunn's test, which the newer version uses, uh, or newer, the, the non-legacy ones, uh, is not available in here. Um, but okay, I'll leave that to do the McNemer's ones in a separate video. So this is it for now.